I'm Shannon Sturgis, Hollywood's premier acting coach, and this is what to expect on your first day on set. You booked a job! Yay, congratulations! What's going to happen next? Well, a few days before, wardrobe is going to call you and get your sizes. Sometimes that's even how you found out you booked the job. You get a call from wardrobe. You might have to go in for a wardrobe fitting. And then the night before, they will send you a call sheet. They'll email it to you. A call sheet will have what time you're supposed to show up, where you're going to show up, and the order in which the scenes are going to be done for the day. You're going to want to make sure to leave yourself a lot of time to get to work in the morning. You might have to park it a lot and shuttle in, and you're going to want to be ready on set to go through what they call the works by your call time. Make sure that you show up to set clean. <laughs> Take a shower, wash your hair. You're going to check in with a PA or the second AD, and you're going to go to your trailer or your honey wagon, wherever it is that you're going to get dressed and have some quiet time. You typically will get lunch or breakfast, depending on what time you show up, so you don't have to worry about that. Then you're gonna go in and go through hair and makeup. If there's anything that you need specifically for you, I would bring it. If you have a tattoo and you have tattoo cover that you like to use, usually the hair and makeup department will have that, but bring it along. If you have anything specific that you like to use on your face, doesn't mean that they'll get to use it, but oftentimes they want you to be comfortable. Everybody wants you to be comfortable. Typically, you're going to put on your wardrobe first, but it kind of depends on how soon you're going to be working. Sometimes they don't want you to put your wardrobe on. I would definitely bring very neutral undergarments. Make sure that you're going to be comfortable and not draw attention to that. When you get to set, Make sure that you don't sit in another actor's chair. There might be a chair for you, there might be a chair for the guest cast, but if you go and you sit in a, a chair that's for another actor, it's just not good etiquette. Oftentimes you'll get mic'd. That means that they're gonna put a little lavalier mic. There's usually a boom mic over you as well. And sometimes those will go in some kind of intimate places. They're usually very respectful and kind about that, but be prepared. A lot of times you don't get rehearsal when you're working in film and television. They saw your audition, they know what you're gonna do, but they'll want a camera block. They'll want a rehearsal just so the camera knows what it is that you're gonna do, what marks you're gonna hit, so that they can prepare for that. Do what you wanna do. Do what feels normal and natural. If that does not work for the camera department, they'll let you know and then you should cooperate with them and do what they ask. Sometimes they'll say things like, can you banana? And what that means is they want you to walk in a curve. Everybody wants to help you on set. Nobody's gonna be mean. You can ask questions if you don't understand what's happening. Don't worry about that. Wait for action. Don't start your scene before you hear action. Don't cut your own scene. You wait for the director or somebody else to say cut. You keep going. They might love what's happening or they might be focused on another actor and you might have ruined a perfectly good take. They'll say, we're going to break you for lunch. You'll get a certain amount of time off. Sometimes what'll happen is they'll bring you and they'll cut you into line to get you to have lunch earlier than some people have been waiting in line and it feels like you're being really rude, <laughs> but you're not because they want to get you fed and then they want to touch up your hair, your makeup, have you brush your teeth before you go back to work. So if they cut you in line, it's okay. I wouldn't cut yourself in line though. Make sure that you tell somebody when you're going somewhere. Don't just disappear. If you want to walk and watch set, which I think you absolutely should if you're able to, tell the PA, tell the second AD, hey, I'm going to go wait on set. Great idea. You want to be quiet and not talking in between scenes and not being distracting. Watch and learn what everybody else is doing. Leave your cell phone in your trailer. I think, especially if it's one of your first days on set, you don't want to be the actor whose phone rings in the middle of a take or whose phone is vibrating so loudly that everybody can hear it. 
and it makes you distracted. I don't want you in your phone. And unless you are given permission, do not post anything on social media. Don't say what you're working on. Don't post a picture of yourself or anything in the background. And if you're able to take a picture, that's wonderful, but do not post it until you are given permission to. You don't wanna give anything away. And again, you wanna be invited back. You don't want to let people know what the ending of the show or the series is gonna be or a big plot twist. And you'd be surprised how easy it is to give those things away. That's why they ask you not to do that. Don't leave until you have officially been wrapped because they might just break you. They might not know if they're getting back to you, but when you're officially wrapped, you will be given a sign out sheet. You will be asked to change out of your wardrobe. Please hang your wardrobe up, treat it with respect. It makes it so much easier for the costumers at the end of the day as well. Every little courtesy is really appreciated by every department. If you have a prop or something, you know, to give it back to the prop master, that's the person who will hand you things like a watch or a purse. And while you're there, I can't believe I have to say this, but wait till you're on set because you will hear a little of this. Don't trash talk anybody. Don't talk badly about the script. Don't complain. You got a job. You know, there's an old joke. How do you make an actor complain? Give him a job? It's true. Yes, you are probably gonna be there hours before you're actually needed on set. Good, that's what they're paying you for. I wouldn't complain about that. And remember, I talked about having a mic on. Sometimes when you're talking smack, people are listening. The director, the sound department, anybody else who needs to be hearing what's happening. So just keep it positive, keep it about what you're doing. If your character is trash talking while doing your scene, that's fine. Otherwise, be grateful. You should be. And say goodbye and thank you to everybody that you worked with at the end of the day, if you're able. It means a lot to people. And who knows, maybe you'll be seeing them again soon. Let me know if you liked this video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. In the comments, you can let me know what other things you want to know about. I've got a lot of tips, a lot of helpful advice, I hope. So let me know what videos you want to see next, and I'll give them to you. And in the meantime, you can check out the video I have linked on the screen. There was something I was going to say about the trash talking. Let me just... Yeah. And we'll see if you can add it in.